This video is going to look at the page navigation system in Power Music Professional. This allows you to move quickly between pages of a large piece of music. I've chosen this piece here because there are 24 pages in it and it's a good one to illustrate the page navigation. Page navigation is available in full screen. So if we go to full screen, you'll notice down in the corner there's a little arrow. If I click on there, that brings out the page navigation bar. The numbers here are the numbers of the actual pages and at the moment they're grouped into 12 double pages. I can jump to any page simply by clicking on the number and that takes me to page 13. Again, I can jump to page 22. However, the real power of this system is being able to put in bar numbers and performance marks and jumping to them. I'm going to show you how to put a bar number in. I know, for instance, that this up here is bar number 54. Bar numbers and performance marks are annotations, so to annotate this page, I click in the middle of this page. That then brings up the annotation toolbar. This is where you put in rehearsal marks and bar numbers. So I want to put bar number 54 in here, so I'll scroll down to 54. I can choose the size and colour of it. I think I'll change it from this pink colour to blue and make it a little smaller. So once I'm happy with the size and colour of the bar number, I simply drop it on the music where I want to put the bar number. I'll save that. Now if I bring out the quick navigation tool, you'll notice it shows that bar number 54 is on page 8. So if I was in page 1, I want to go to bar 54, I just click on there and that takes me to the bar 54. In exactly the same way, I can add performance marks. So if I go to another page, let's say here, and I want to put a performance mark in here. Again, click in the middle of the page, and this is going to be performance mark C. So I'll choose C, I'm quite happy with the size and colour, and I'll just put that up there. Save that. If we look at our navigation bar, you'll see now that page 12 has got performance mark C in it. Put one more in. This is going to be performance mark D here. So I will click the middle of the page. I select D and I can put D in there and save it. Again, bringing out this, you'll see performance mark D is there. If I want to go to C, I click there. And if I want to go to a bar number like 54, I go there. So that's how you can use the annotations to put in performance marks and bar numbers.